Hi, uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, Milwaukee brand LED light, and it is a model number, it's embossed on there, very small, 2108 is the model number. Um, it has some shortcomings, but uh, it has some positives too. Um, let's kick this on. Very bright. I'll let the camera adjust. That's 300 lumens. 300 lumens is equivalent to about uh, maybe a 30 watt light bulb. Uh, thereabouts. Uh, 400 lumens is a 40 watt light bulb, but the numbers don't scale that way as you go up. In other words, 600 lumens is not a 60 watt, but uh, but an 800 watt and so forth. Um, but this is uh, 300 lumens, pretty bright. Um, very, very nice for, for close-up light. Um, and then on low, it's, let's see, they're saying 100 lumens. Um, one of the, well, two, two things that I that I'm not crazy about this light, they could have done better. The end cap here, if it rotates off, you know, your batteries come springing out. A um, lot of complaints about the end cap. It could have been designed better. Um, and the other thing that I could say that I don't like about the light is it was not designed properly for rechargeables at all. Um, they don't suggest using it in there, which right off the bat is, is just poor design. It'll run fine on alkalines or, you know, lithium, lithium type disposable batteries. But um, if you want to run rechargeables, what happens is you don't really have your high and low settings. It doesn't like that uh, two tenths of a lower volt. And what happens is you don't get the high and low settings. I think uh, what happens is high then becomes lower and then there's no differentiation between the high and low settings. So bad design in that respect. It could have been better. If it wasn't for those two things, this would really be a fantastic product. Um, it's got a very nice metal clip on there, very robust, uh, that rotates, which is good design because you can clip it in such a way where you can direct the light where you want it. So you can clip it, you can clip it on your shirt or something like that. You can, you can uh, have the light go the direction you want. Pretty strong magnet here on the back and uh, color temperature is very good on this that's what i really like about it is the color temperature let's see if they talk about the color temperature i don't think they do but i can tell you it's very uh it's in the warm range you know if it's at most 4000 uh possibly 3500 so it's not that ugly blue light that uh that that people don't like let's go back up to specs here and or take a look at the specs okay two light output modes you're not going to get it with rechargeables though 300 lumens five hours it's two double a's in there low mode 100 lumens 16 hours 12 foot drop rated corrosion resistant body parts and lens limited warranty blah 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 let's see rotating metal clip powered by two double a batteries None of that AAA nonsense and something like this. You know, if you want to, if you want a light that kicks out 100, 300 lumens, you don't put, uh, you don't put AAAs in it for sure. But some of these products they do that. It's just ridiculous. You might get an, an hour or two of runtime out of it. You're constantly changing batteries. Um, so yeah, so those are your your basic uh, your basic specs on it. Um, yeah, it, it could be a better light, but it's it's not a bad product. And that the color temperature is good, very compact, using double A's, uh, waterproof for the most part. A um, couple of shortcomings, but uh, not horrible. If you're into rechargeables and you like to run rechargeables, probably not a great light for you. Um, you know, if you're the kind of person that, that runs alkalines, doesn't mess with rechargeables, then that's a moot point, doesn't really matter. Uh, the end cap that a lot of people complain about. Uh, it's not horrible. Um, the engagement here, there's three three points of engagement. So it's not like it's going to crack. It uses a, a very, very good type of plastic that seems to be high impact. Strong spring and all. But the fact that it rotates a little easy turns people off. They don't want that thing flipping. 
you know, when you rotate this, if your fingers get on that and that rotates. So it would have been better if it had, like, it was harder to rotate or somehow locked in place. That would have been a, almost made it the perfect light. But short little video on a product that's powerful. It's got good color temperature. It's waterproof. About as small as you could make it. Um, Price-wise, oh, that's another thing. What's the price on something like this? Let's take a look and see if we could bring it up real quick. I think it's pricey. Um, yeah, it's about a $30 light. So, you know, if you get it on sale, if you could find it for $20, bucks, you are probably doing pretty good. But quite frankly, any light that, that performs like this, that has that kind of light output, the durability and so forth, you know, 20 is probably a decent price. For something like that that's this compact um, uh, most places seem to have it here online for 30 29.99 but you know how it is you shop around a little bit and uh, sometimes you can find these where they're blowing them out or Home Depot let's see yeah 29.97 so just all depends for certain tradesmen this would be be a pretty nice pretty nice light to have so that's it the Milwaukee 2108 LED 2 AA 300 lumen 100 lumen uh, portable light thanks for watching